right here on WIBG, the King Arthur Radio Show, the King of Common Sense. Uh, next week in Atlantic City at Tropicana is a gamer convention, and the a couple of weeks in Runnymede, our next guest, Jerry Colonna, has a uh, convention in Runnymede. Uh, Jerry, first of all, thanks for getting up early with us on a Saturday morning, and thanks for joining us on the King Arthur Show. Well, thanks for having us. I uh, thanks for having me. I, I appreciate it. Uh, we uh, we're glad to be here. Uh, I mean, people in our audience may not know what a gamer convention is. May not know even what a gamer is. So, sort of give us a background uh, first of all on what's going to happen uh, with your convention, and of course, there's one here in Atlantic City next weekend as well. And what exactly will people, if they go to a gamer convention, what will they find, Jerry? Well, I'll tell you. I think uh, if uh, you know if, if folks aren't familiar with it and uh, they're in your they're in your area next weekend is a great opportunity to to, to check it out at the Tropicana. Um, at GameCon is going to be uh, unlike unlike anything you probably ever saw in Atlantic City, uh, and it's uh, it's going to be a really really great show. Uh, the folks that are putting that on have uh, partnered uh, with me in, in in some fashion with. Uh, um, with our show, uh, we are going to be involved in their show next week with uh, some promotion, and um, we're going to have a, uh, a booth there. We'll be doing uh, some cross promoting, but uh, their, their 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 show will, will give you a great insight into what a gamer is if you have the time to check it out. Um, they they are uh, exploring the developer side and the software code and the, the writers rather and, and 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 what goes into development of a game. Uh, our show, on the other hand, kind of dives into more of um, the fun and the entertainment side of the games. Um, you know, every anybody under the age of uh, 40 has played a video game. Uh, you know, I would think uh, the, the, even a higher, uh, higher, a higher percentage of anybody under the age of 50. But the uh, ga gamers today are, uh, are are everyone, parents, kids, uh, grandparents even. And, um, you know, anybody that plays a video game uh, at home or on a computer at work or on their, on their iPhone, um, uh, you know, arcades uh, at one point, uh, you know, I guess you could call them a gamer. Uh, someone that's die hard, uh, and, you know, a, a hardcore gamer, uh, that, you know, there's different levels of, of, of anything, but a die hard or a hardcore gamer, uh, are they, uh, competitively or professionally and, and, and are paid. And, uh, and, and that's, that's, that's really it. A gamer is just any, anybody who enjoys, uh, playing a game or has fun playing a game. Uh, I do know, you know, uh, haven't uh, had a girlfriend for a while, but I do know that my girlfriend didn't like it when I played video games for like nine hours a day. So, I mean, sure. is there a fine line between overdoing it, Jerry? Well, I'll tell you what, there, 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 I guess, sure, with anything, there is, uh, you know, you spend enough time on uh, your computer doing whatever you do. Uh, I guess there's a, there's a line you can cross. But uh, what I was going to say is uh, uh, today it's different. Uh, uh, there's There's... Girls, there's just as many girls that I've come across that are in, involved or interested or or wanting to come to the show um, than, than there are men. I think that uh, today's generation, uh, you know, uh, you know, under 20, I would say it's uh, it's pretty even when it comes to uh, interest in gaming uh, from 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 females and males. And so of I course, that, that, yeah, I was gonna say back in the day, I used to play Atari and yeah. stuff like that. Has the advent of the the phones where, I mean, literally, look, I, I have a phone from like the 1900s, though. I still have, I have, a, I have the Lindsey Graham flip phone. That's how, you know, technology uh, lacking that I am. But the fact that, you know, with people's phones, you could be a gamer waiting at a traffic light. I guess that's illegal. But, I mean, but I mean with, the, with the phones, it's, you know, you don't have to be sitting at home, uh, you know, with a, you know, and, and uh, sure. I, I think that, that has had to make it more popular, right? Oh, it sure has. I mean, it's, a, it's actually evolving the industry so much so that, uh, uh, you know, there, there are industry, uh, uh, there, there are analysts out there who think that the, the home game console is on its last generation because mobile mobile gaming is going, uh, it is going in such a direction and, and, you know, it's, it's becoming the platform of choice for developers. So I think, uh, you know, this is kind of a, it's a nostalgic thing for us to be, uh, uh to enjoy, uh, the, the NES and the Super NES, the, the, the Atari, like you mentioned. But, uh, I think that, uh, the consoles as a whole will be, uh, something that will be considered retro. Um, you know, PlayStation 3 and Play, PlayStation 4 and the, the Xbox, uh, current, current renditions of, of those systems. Will be retro, uh, you know, sooner 
it later. And we have uh, Jerry Colonna on the phone. He is part of GamerCon, which will be happening uh, in a couple of weeks. I think it's three weeks from today in Runnymede, New Jersey. He'll be part of the show. He'll have a booth over at Tropicana uh, next week. Uh, people who listen to my show know that I love, uh, I, I play a virtual horse racing reality game called HorseRacingPark.com, which is on the Internet. But lucky for, for me, Jerry, there's not a lot of hand-eye coordination to be a game. Do you have to have an extremely great sense of hand-eye coordination? You know, it, it, it probably comes down to uh, probably comes down to skill level as well as uh, you know the the, the the difficulty of the game that you're playing. Uh, you know, uh, some games, uh, Candy Crush and things like that, that are more popular. The simpler the game, uh, sometimes the more popular. I and I love horseracingpark.com, and I mean no. I need virtually no hand-eye coordination, so that, so that makes it perfect. That absolutely makes it perfect for me. Um, if somebody goes to the Tropicana show next Saturday, or they go to your show and run me three weeks from today, what what will people see at the convention? Well, our show. I, I can speak. Uh, I can speak on our show specifically, and uh, I, I can I can assure you that uh, the, the the theme of our show is fun, and uh, at any age, uh, it's not as for uh, strictly the hardcore. It is uh, it is more family friendly environment. Uh, we have uh, an arcade that will be set up that will be uh, open to play uh, to anybody who uh, who comes to our show, um, which will feel like a, an arcade from 30 years ago. It'll have a classic or you know, a retro feel, if you will. Um, and th those games will be set up to, to play for free. If you come into the show, you'll also have access to what we call our console room, which will be Every console from, uh, you know, the older generations to the current generations set up to play and, uh, and games to play for free. We'll have contests and, and I guess uh, uh, we'll have prizes, obviously. And then uh, we'll have our vendor uh, marketplace, which is more of like a video game swap game, where you'll be able to buy and trade and sell, you know, games from, from any era. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a two-day event. Um, we're putting together some last-minute touches to maybe put, put in some uh, Saturday evening uh, entertainment into, into the show. Uh, so more more to come on that, and we'll we'll be posting to our website and our Facebook page um, in regards to that. Right now, uh, to your listeners, I just want to uh, make this announcement: if any of your listeners want to pre-purchase their show tickets, um, a, a two-day show ticket uh, will also include a free T-shirt, and this offer will expire uh, to Sunday tomorrow night at midnight. And that's an exclusive uh, for uh, for your members who click on njgamercon.com. And, uh, and then they'll be presented with a, uh, a link right there on our main page. So if you can, check us out. Uh, we'd love to see you on December 5th and 6th. And, again, the website is uh, njgamercon.com. njgamercon.com, and you can purchase a uh, two-day pass or one-day or two-day yeah. pass, correct? That's correct. That's correct. That's and that, and that's, that's, it's, that is for the show. That is for the show. Three weeks from today in Runnymede, New Jersey, and for people um, who want to really see what it's about, next Saturday you'll be in Atlantic City at the Tropicana. I'll tell you what. As a matter of fact, uh, we'll, we'll be bringing uh, a handful of uh, classic arcade games with us to kind of, uh, uh, and we'll be bringing that to the, to the show at the Tropicana. So definitely stop by and check us out, and we'll, we'll get you hooked up with some. Uh, t-shirts and stuff and uh yeah play some old games yeah, i mean is this, is, is this a trend throughout the country the uh, uh, a gamer con convention we have a lot of different conventions come into atlantic city first of all i i know that you know frank talk who's coming up following your segment and we talk about it all the time that we love to see events in atlantic city that happen in the actual city a lot of things are being moved to the marina and people go to the marina do whatever they do, then they go home. You know, if you're at Tropicana, you know, you're on the boardwalk, you can walk on the boardwalk, see the beach. Yeah. I mean, that's what Atlantic City is all about. We don't really highlight it uh, that much. But is it a new trend, the gamer convention? I, I mean, we've had, I, I, I know my, my friend is a big uh, science fiction person, and they just had the chiller a couple of weeks mm -hmm. ago up in North Jersey, and that's, all, that's been yeah. going on for years. Well, you know, you have toy cons, you have comic cons, uh, you have uh, uh, sci-fi cons, and, and 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 the like. But game, you know, game specific uh, uh, conventions have been going on for for years. Um, the popularity and the and 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 the quantity of these gamer cons have probably increased over the past five years significantly. 
um, and that's probably why you're, you're hearing of them. Uh, so yes, it is a it is sort of a trend that is that is taking place nationwide. Well, it sounds great. Uh, we have a couple minutes left uh, in this segment. Rick Brancador coming up with the local news after at the top of the hour at, at 8 o'clock. Uh, Jerry Colonna is with us. Again, the Gamer shows next uh, weekend at the Tropicana. And then three weeks, December uh, 4th and 5th, I believe, are the dates right for, for Runnymede, New Jersey. And a special for all of our listeners njgamercon.com if you purchase your tickets uh, today, a free t-shirt so uh, we appreciate that offer to to the listeners uh, who sign up today uh, we have about a minute left, Jerry uh, tell our listeners why they should uh, uh, go both to the Tropicana show and to the Runnymede show well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, both shows you'll have a lot of fun, uh, December 5th and 6th kind of puts you right there uh, at our show in Runnymede, New Jersey in the heart of this Christmas shopping season um, you know, it's uh, Black Friday sales are going to be behind you. Uh, we're going into Christmas shopping, and you got a list of uh, games and, and things to buy for your uh, your gamer. And uh, you're, you're 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 at a better no no better place than our show to do that with uh, the amount of vendors that we have and, and the collection of uh, games and toys and comics that they'll be bringing. Uh, our show is a great place to do a little Christmas shopping. So uh, definitely come check it out. Bring a toy for the Toys for Tots. Uh, bring some food. We're raising. Uh, we're, we're doing a little fundraising for uh, a food pantry local to the area and also the Marine with their Toys for Us program. So come check it out. Bring, bring a donation. We'll, we'll hook you up with three bucks off your admission, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll all have a good time and have a lot of fun doing it. And, Jerry, do me a favor. When you're in Atlantic City uh, next weekend, uh, give us a call if, if you have an opportunity to, and, and we'll, uh, we'll throw, out, throw out a plug again for it uh, for next weekend at the Tropicana. Your show, December 5th and 6th, in run of me. We appreciate you coming on the show, getting up early with us, uh, and letting our listeners know that uh, uh, we have a lot of stuff going on here in South Jersey, and we appreciate you, uh, you coming on with us today. Thank you again. appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much, Jerry. All right, there he is, Jerry from NJGamerCon.com. Buy the tickets, Atlantic City show next uh, weekend, and then December 5th and 6th in Runnymede. Rick Brancadora next with your local news, and you've been waiting all week for it. It's Frank Talk right after Rick's News, the most comprehensive news report about Atlantic City. Don't go anywhere.